Now, it's been a while since I've reviewed one of Dave Hughes' books, but we have tied a few of his patterns recently, so I thought it'd be a good time to review this next one. It's called Nymphs for Streams and Stillwaters, first published in 2009 and then released in 2020 as a paperback. And I could easily spend 20 minutes talking about how much I like this book, but I won't because nobody would watch a video that long. I don't think I would even watch a video that long, even if I made it. But I will cover the highlights and let you know why I like it so much. First off, the thing is huge. It's 372 pages, good quality paper, nice, beautiful pictures all throughout it. And as of today, it's only $30. I don't think any book in the $30 price range stacks up to how much information is in this one. It has 32 chapters broken down into four major parts. So pause the video right here if you want to see what all the chapters are, because I'm just going to hit the highlights of the four major sections. The first section is a general overview of nymphs and how to tie them. He's got a little bit of entomology on the bugs and then several chapters on tools and materials and lots of techniques on how to actually tie. And to me, these 70 pages are worth the price of the book. The second part is searching nymphs for moving water. Now, if you're a new tire or a fisherman, a searching nymph is just a, a bug that doesn't look exactly like anything, but it looks enough like the food that the trout are used to eating. You might use this when you don't know exactly what they're eating or where they're holding, so you're kind of searching for them. He's got chapters on fur and hurl nymphs and wire body, rubber leg nymphs, lots of patterns and lots of instructions on how to actually tie them. The third major section is imitative nymphs for moving water. Now these are the bugs you go to when you have a good idea of what the fish are eating. Maybe there's a mayfly hatch about to happen or stonefly or caddisfly. He's got several chapters on how and when to fish these flies and then some beautiful pictures of the actual insects. And again, lots of patterns and instructions on how to tie them. The fourth part of the book focuses on nymphs for still waters. And again, it's uh, more of the same format, but it has chapters focusing on midges, damselflies, dragonflies, water boatmen, scuds, and leeches. So, okay, let's bring this all back around. Most of the books I review fall into one of three categories. You might have a pattern encyclopedia or a how-to book or a book that focuses more on the history of the flies. Now, this book doesn't really go much into the history of the patterns, and I wouldn't call it a pattern encyclopedia. It's definitely more of a how-to book, but it's a lot more than just that. You'll learn what nymph you should use, in what situation, what type of water, how to fish it, and really how to tie it. So, who is this book for? I'm going to say this is for anybody who ties or fishes nymphs. I'm talking a brand new tire or somebody who's been doing it for 50 years. There's something in this book for you. And do I recommend it? Well, I think you can tell if you've watched the last two or three minutes. Yes, absolutely I do. And is it worth the current price tag at $30? Oh yeah, I think it's worth twice that. I feel 100% confident recommending this book to anybody watching. You won't be disappointed. Now, I did pick up an extra copy, so let's give it away. And if you're new here, how we do that, just leave a comment. Anywhere in your comment, put the word Rudolph. So I like to get a little crazy sometimes and have you put a word that has nothing to do with the pattern or the book or fly tying. So it's almost a Christmas season. I'm going to go with Rudolph. This video is going to air Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. I'll let this run for a couple days, and we'll say Friday evening, that'll be November 11th. I'll go to the random comment generator and pick a winner, and I'll get the book in the mail to you. It's just my way to say thanks for watching, thanks for supporting the channel. Y'all have a good week. See you in a couple days.